Honestly speaking, Tinimbu is doing himself more harm than good. Tinimbu, Bola Men Tinimbu is doing himself more harm than good. Work with me. Now, you know, I was giving you a news about Atiku Abubakar's Tinimbu's case, the Chicago State University case, that uh, Tinimbu decided to hire five lawyers to go and defend him in Chicago in the U.S. so that people uh, they won't release his fake result that he's claiming, knowing fully well that the person that is answering Tinimbu is a female in Chicago State University. That's the only name they have as Tinimbu in Chicago State University. Now, update and a deeper dive into Atiku Abubakar's quest to Max Bolame Tinimbu through the U.S. court. Now, there is a twat to one on Max who Bola Metinimbu is. Since the Nigerian judiciary is doing some kind of delays, let's now go through the U.S. court. Atiku Abubakar has certified all the conditions for jurisdiction and venue persuades to Section 28 U.S.C. 1782, which authorized any interested person to request that a uni United States District Court order the discovery of documents and testimony for use in a foreign proceeding from persons that reside or are found within its district, as he, Atiku, is an interested person, and that the order for discovery he sought was for use in Abubakar Abu vs. Einek and pending in the Nigerian Court of Appeal, while the respondent CSU is a public university established in Chicago State University and existing under the laws of Illinois, with principal campus and offices located within the Illinois districts, U.S. no be Niger. Atiku is also requesting documents which include all objects belonging to Bola Metinimbu, tangible or intangible, from which information may be derived. Assignments, periodicals, coursework, photographs, test message, agreements, correspondence, electronic or other video recordings of any type, ETC and electronic data which must be produced with all their metadata and the name of custodians. <laughs> hey, you know, one of the funniest thing here is that uh, Tinibu thought that he can, this time around, that probably since Buhari did it, him too would do it and nothing will happen. Imagine the level of evidence that is about to pull out. If Chicago State University, the CSU, should ever release this document. <laughs> this means even if Bola Metinibu has a football jersey with his name on it or a lipstick or makeup kit still in the school's custody, Chicago State University will turn it over to Atiku. Also, if the Chicago State University has tried to alter anything on their electronic records with respect to Bola Metinibu, the metadata of the electronic files Will expose them and the person in charge. Custodian will be called upon to explain. He's also asking for all the documents produced by Chicago State University in response to any request by subpoena or otherwise by Mr. Tinimbu or any other person for CSU record relating to Mr. Tinimbu. This means every document given to Enahora Eba. And every document given to Tinimbu, the document Wole or Lenu Beku tendered, and any other person, including the letter Reno keeps shouting himself over, should be turned over to he and his team. We will finally know if Reno officially requested document or was just grandstanding and modeling in front of Chicago State University. Atiku also wants the certificate they use on all documents and the process of the certificate, certification. The draft of the certification and all the communication to, from or within Chicago State University on the certifications and all documents sufficient to reflect the format, contents and certification of Chicago State University diplomas issued by 
Chicago State University for BS degree from 1979, including documents sufficient to demonstrate any modification to the format, content, and certification of Chicago State University diplomas from 1979 to the present. I know where Tiku is going with this. He is either trying to establish that the certificate in Nimbus submitted to INEC did not come out of Chicago State University, or that all the subsequent documents tendered by Oleni Bekum, SAN, on behalf of Bola Metinibu, and the reference in his final address are fixed. That either did not come out of Chicago State University or were fraudulently procured and certified with connivance of dirty corrupt Chicago State University officials without the proper certification process of the university, or that Chicago State University officials are downright corrupt and compromised. The implication of the latter two would be very grave and have a devastating ripple effect. Imagine the backlash of having a essay and tender Oluwale Promas document on your behalf. All documents certified by Jamar ESQ, the Deputy General of Council for Chicago State University, or by any other person employed by or acting on behalf of Chicago State University for use by Mr. Tinimbu or any other person or entity in relation to the Nigerian proceedings. And it's if Jamal ESQ is still a service of Chicago State University, and if not, the reasons for his disengagement will be revealed. <clears throat> the way Atik is going about this thing, any international collaborators will smell jail if they collected any money from Bola Nimbu. They should spend it there. So, multiple revelation is revealing a very very big timing it is like there's a time bomb that is going to set anybody who collected money from Bola Metinibu. but you, do you see the document that if chicago state university should release <laughs> i think also wants chicago state universities to send competent officers to answer questions on the document he requested <laughs> Questions on topics like why is there a difference between the certificate issued to Enahora Eba and the one submitted by Bola Metinibu to INEC? What are the processes by which Chicago State University searched for and produced documents for the different subpoenas? The process by which CSU Deputy General Counsel Mr. Jamar produced any certification or other statement for use in the Nigerian proceedings. Chicago State University reasons for identified difference and discrepancies between the June 22, 1979 diploma and the June 27, 1979 diploma and authenticity of the document produced by Chicago State University relating to Tinimbu. Atiku is ready to naked Bola Ahmed Tinimbu entirely. My submission is that Atiku has smelt a rat with respect to the Chicago State University document tendered by Oleni Bekun SAN at the PEPT and like Sherlock Holmes is on a, on a journey of discovery to identify and expose that rat to the world. The rat will cost some professionals their reputation, send some to jail and most likely cost Bola Metinibu his presidency. The rule Presidential election petitioner tribunal venue has been shifted to Chicago and it is there in the United States District Court for the Northern District of Illinois, Eastern Division, that the epic battle of Bola Ahmed Tinimbu's disqualification will be fought and decided. We are all spectators in this matter. This is the point. Thank you, Miss Pels. Miss Pels, thank you for providing this wonderful piece. Let's see how we go. Let's see how fast. Let's see how fast Tinibu is going to play this time. You know, the man thinks he's, he's, he's fast, but he has met the wrong people. Maybe he has been playing with some kind, some some of his brothers, his Yoruba brothers. This time around, <laughs> you, you, you don't collect something from an evil man and you think you go scot free. It doesn't happen like that. Yes, Atiku is doing what he's doing today is because he'll be decided not to back down.
If Obi had backed down, I think we would have gone back to Dubai and relaxed. The same way he has relaxed for over how many years. Thanks for supporting the future news. Peace.